I'm pleased to report to this committee that the Horse Racing Board, Chairman Winter and myself, have had very productive, positive conversations over the last couple of weeks with Kathy Guillermo from PETA and Judy Mancuso from Social Compassion and Legislation. We together have identified a number of initiatives that we believe can be achieved. And we do think that if we're invited back in a subsequent year, before too long, we will be able to say that California racing is not only the safest in America, but among the safest anywhere. I'm Judy Mancuso, founder and president of Social Compassion and Legislation. As most of you know, we advocate on behalf of the voiceless in California. Animal lovers such as myself and our supporters want to know that all want to know that all the horses that have died have not died in vain. We need to change the culture of horse racing, and the time is now. No more delays and no more excuses. Personally, I would love to see the track owners find another way to make money and maintain or grow jobs, such as turning their venues into other money-making facilities or into housing that is sorely needed in our state or any other of the many opportunities that exist for them. Each of these new potential transformations can create jobs, even the potential for many more jobs. We would love to see the animals used in entertainment go by the wayside. These animals cannot speak for themselves on when they are in pain or not up to running around the track at unnatural speeds. They should not be treated as a disposable commodity to be abused, forsaken, and thrown away. However, if the time is not right, then we must raise our standards to be the highest in the world and not one more horse should die. There are preventative measures that can be taken to ensure this. California should not be behind Hong Kong and Dubai. We need not only to match their standards, but to exceed them. In the upcoming months, we will be moving legislation and, of course, for the majestic horses that needlessly died. My name's Kathy Guillermo. I'm with People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA. I'm also a California resident. Um, everybody today has had a lot of interesting comments about 25 horses who've died, but I think it's important to point out that every year dozens and dozens of horses die on California racetracks. And we know from necropsies done at University of California at Davis that pre-existing injuries at the site of those breaks often exist. Why does this happen? Medications that mask injuries are given legally, and this causes a problem. I don't think it's just a weird anomaly that in six weeks there were no deaths at Santa Anita. I think the rules that Santa Anita put in place are working, and those rules involve pulling back on those medications and not making sure that injured horses aren't going on the track. We need to do more of that. There's more that can be done, more medication withdrawal. Horses shouldn't be running on fetal butazone, as essentially all of them are in two days before a race. There is sophisticated scan technology that will scan all four legs of a horse simultaneously in under one minute and detect a lot of this injury. And it's important, I think, that violators be kicked out of this sport. There are a lot of people with dozens and dozens of medication violations, and they need to go. There's more that can be done, but most of all, horses should not be the collateral damage in racing. Thank you.